so in today's video we're going to be taking some cars for a rock climb slash off road trek we're going to see what survives better beam ng cars or the cars i've made in automation and as you can see we're just going through the list we've got one beam ng then one automation i've customized this car and the first car the like hot rod looking thing but yeah So let's get into it. So I thought I'd do this car first as it's going to be the least hopeful out of all of them since I couldn't raise the suspension up because I wanted to think compared to the truck that I made that had a hot rod body sort of thing. So let's go the first step. It's actually doing expect kind of well. It's doing kind of well for this sort of car and then it gets stuck on like yeah we'll just help it out yep definitely helped it out so now let's try the truck I actually kind of like the shape of the body on this one I thought why not turn it into a truck there was a truck version but I thought I like this version better, the truck just looked kind of basic, this looks kind of different I suppose, it's got a pushrod V8 3 litre, I think it does about 230 horsepower, but it's kind of got that old sort of sound to it, but I think BeamNG is not handling the sounds that great because all my cars just sound like they're screaming and like when I'm testing them out in automation they really don't scream like that so something that probably will change in an update but I actually tried this car and it done kind of well but I didn't record it because obviously I wanted to make sure they get halfway round but yeah so just lowered the range on the box to get a bit more out of the engine because I knew it would take a while because if all of them get around it's going to probably be about half an hour of video so I don't know whether um, BeamNG is actually accepting everything properly to how it's made in automation or it makes it to specifications so I don't break BeamNG but yeah this car's kind of struggling I think it's just because it's not raised up enough and the body's catching on the rocks and then stuff's getting stuck and it's not able to get over also this is carbureted it's not injection I used two carbs I think it was two no two barrel carbs and there's three of them I think it's three of them yeah I ended up using three I was going to use one to make it look better but the engine needed the three carbs for the power but yeah we're now officially stuck I thought to myself well I'll try and help the cars out a bit because the other day when I was just doing it without recording it I was actually giving them a bit of a pull along and then it seemed to be alright but this car's back end so long it's stuck on a rock and I can't pull up pull over that rock in front of me so we're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard rock but yeah I think it's the end for this car Oh no, it's alright. It's handling it. Okay. 
so the front and the rear of this car seem to get stuck on rocks a lot so that's one problem you could fit a lot in that boot actually fit a few bodies in that wrapped in carpet nah probably I wonder what probably a bit of moonshine in that for them aliens that like the moonshine it's probably what the purpose is never mind the bodies in the carpet so now we have the inline 6 gavel d series okay this truck has an issue with the wheels coming off like every time i tested it the wheels would actually come off and that would be why it would have to be respawned There's also the wheels that were actually on this are actually the wheels that I think were on it when you select this body type. Because I also know you can, I think, I'm not sure if these are them, but you can get like a massive tyre you can put on these type of steel wheels. And that's the end of that. So now we've got the first truck I made that you all saw in the trailer if you watched it. Or I don't know, it was a bit of a like test footage. But yeah, so now we've got this one, it's a V8, it's modern, modern V8, it revs quite high. And this car doesn't struggle, not even a little bit, until it gets nose diving into rocks and stuff, but it seems to be a decent car. I've made it around this two or three times in this truck. It's just luck really. Kind of pushing my luck there. Nearly went over. Holding the mic away from my mouth in the wrong direction. Yeah, same happened with this recording, it was split into two when I recorded it as one whole video, so I don't know what happened there. Doing well, okay, we're doing stoppies and I think this truck, the actual chassis, is carbon fibre. But I'm not too sure because I think recently I've been just been making stupid builds that are like probably the most expensive but actually this truck it might have actually been the the trim that was carbon fiber because it actually only cost about 19 grand to put together in costs for the materials but now this one's lost its wheels and the final one is the gavel d series beast it has a supercharged v8 i'm assuming i pulled the hood off to have a closer look it's got a decent interior, we've got a nice little GPS Have all your mates in the back Fit all your moonshine in the back too It's like we're just moonshine addicts out here in the UK Yeah I don't even drink that much, I don't know why I talk about moonshine so much It's not me It's the aliens bro So at this point I thought I wrecked it but the door just came open and I broke all the glass but also this ain't jacked up as much as the other vehicles like especially the ones I've made in automation they're super jacked so also at some point I actually respawned the car on accident so that's probably the only reason it survived because it at this point it kind of does have a bit of damage to the body because i'm not sure if it's in the second but yeah it was i tried to use the central drag thing to drag it back over and reset it by pushing the d-pad by accident 
because I didn't want to respawn any of the cars, I wanted to give them one chance and not like help it in any way apart from if I had to drag it over or pull it over a rock, but I would only do that once. But yeah. It's a beast, but it's not managing rocks that well. But this, to me, is my favourite um, little trial path. Yeah, see, we're getting stuck again. What I think is causing it is the bottoms of the cars. It's just like, that's hitting the rocks and then it's getting stuck and you can't pull it over. Because you've got the front wheel on one side and the back wheel on the other side. It just hasn't got the strength to pull it over and there as you see is the one we left I thought why not let's have it it's beam and G after all now, they have updated this game quite well like when I was first playing it compared to now they've added so much and I didn't even I actually when I first heard of it I played it but I lost that um Steam account because I forgot the email and also the passwords and whatever else so I actually paid for this game I think or was it that oh, I can't remember but I did play this game when it was sort of early and I think the only vehicle I could actually use was the Gavril D series truck but then again I might be mistaken that might have just been a demo but I'm sure I thought I bought it but Because also another um, thing was, when I was thinking about it, I must have started making YouTube videos early, like, maybe 2009. And I've had about 3-4 channels, one of my channels actually got quite big. Um, I had like a couple of hundred subs, and my videos were getting a couple of hundred views at a time, but obviously... I deleted it because had some people complaining about it, this, that, and the other, and I just couldn't be bothered with the aggravation. And the thi only thing was, like, I'd done that literally twice. So by now, if I hadn't restart like two times, I'd probably had a decent sub base, and it wouldn't be as hard now because. How YouTube used to be was so much better than it is now. But um, yeah, now it's a lot harder. But saying that, both every time I've had an account, I've never really been this. Smash that sub button, smash that like button, smash this button, smash that button. I've just kind of thought of it as if people want to sub, let them sub, if they don't want to sub, don't sub, but you can still come through and watch my videos. Really don't know what happened there, that was kind of glitched. And then we have a kind of pan zoom out, and that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it, if you want more like this, or there was something you didn't like, let me know down below. But yeah, also someone once said I rap like, I talk like I rap, or I rap out like I talk, whatever. But I've noticed sometimes I do rhyme things quite a bit when I'm speaking. But I don't know if that was an insult, because the way you said it was kind of aggravated. Like a lot of people telling me kill myself, and this, that, and the other, my voice sounds like I'm gonna kill myself. Don't know how you evaluate that from my voice. But that's it. Thank you for coming through, subscribing, watching, and liking. That's it. Take care, and goodbye.